fashion minions today is um, really cold it's like four to five degrees outside I know that's really cold but I live in Florida what can I say it's cold um, and I was thinking well because it's been cold um, my face uh, skincare routine has changed since I last filmed the video I'm pretty sure if I filmed the video um, and some things stay the same just because they work with my skin. What can I say? So, um, I guess the first thing I'm going to talk about is my little face wipes. This is just a travel pack. I have like the big pack, but um, it's the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. This is like the first thing I use um, to take off all my mascara and my makeup and my lip glosses and whatever else. These stuff, this stuff is awesome for helping me take my makeup off because otherwise it just don't come off um and then I will continue to wash my face not continue but take the next step of washing my face um and I've really been loving this origins checks and balances frothy face wash this month um so I mean December's cold so this is when my cold skincare routine comes in to play. So this is supposed to help with oily areas and dry areas. And it really has been helping my dry areas a lot. I don't know how or why it works like that. Um, but I was really dry around here and I haven't been one month. So this stuff, pretty awesome. Definitely recommend it. Um, it's the first Origins I've tried, like I haven't tried Origins before, but I really do like this stuff. So, um, because I've been so dry, I don't use toner, but maybe like once a week. Um, and I've been using my Clinique 2 Toner Clarifying Lotion. Um, and it's the same one I've been using pretty much all year, I think. At least since like May. Maybe before that. So, um, definitely love this toner, always have loved this toner, um, and it doesn't dry me out, it's for dry combinations, so it doesn't dry me out, basically is what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but I only use it like once a week, because honestly my face is dry, it's suffering, gotta be nice to it. So, um, because it's been so dry, I had to venture out and find a new moisturizer and that was quite the task. I went through at least three or four moisturizers and I know that doesn't seem like a lot but I did a lot of research. Um, I made sure that they were good moisturizers. I didn't like um... <clears throat> anyway <laughs> long point being I did find some moisturizers that have really helped my skin and um, first I found um, the Moisture Surge what did I drop it? The Moisture Surge by Clinique um, I just have the little little one it's like not that big um, and honestly like I was worried that this was too much like it was too moisturizing and I would just be goopy wet I don't know, does that make sense? Probably not. Um, so I went and got this one. It's the number seven um, Beautiful Skin Dry Rescue, Dry Skin Rescue. And this stuff is really, really thick. Um, I did use it all over my face when I first got it, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it is really thick and heavy. And if you read either the box or the back, I'm not really sure which one, it tells you just to use it on your dry patches. So, that's what I'm using it for now, It's just like my dry patches, I'll rub some of the stuff on there, totally, right up. <laughs> so, but this one I'll use every day, I'll just spread it all over after I did my toner, or just wash my face, this stuff goes on, and voila, <laughs> moisturized skin. Um, but then I have two extra skincare that I don't do every day, or I don't do like this one I'll do at night it's just an eye cream um, I got it at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that it's just an eye cream um, 
I'm trying to be nice to my skin while I'm young, so when I'm older, I won't have problems, but you know, you can't, you can't run away from stuff like that, but it's good to just be prepared, so I just went and got a little moisturizer, like an eye cream for my eyes, prevent wrinkles, we'll see if it works, but I got the Len Cream, Lano Cream, I don't even know how you say it, eye cream, and it's just like gold top, white bottom. It's a really soft, soft, soft cream. I love this stuff on my eyes. It doesn't irritate me. I can't complain. And I don't use it every night. I should, but I don't because I don't have wrinkles. I'm not worried about it. But I do try to be preventative. Why you should have SPF. Okay. <laughs> and when I'm battling my poor acne, and I do, I do battle. Um, I have this acne treatment cream. It's just like a spot cream. It has the 10% benzoyl peroxide, which that's definitely something you need to find in your products, girls, if you're trying to battle this acne. Guys, too, by the way. Um, <laughs> but this uh, benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. Um, if I'm breaking out really bad, which it happens, um, if, you know, I can't stay away from soda, you know. <laughs> I will use a face wash with the silic acid followed by the benzoyl peroxide. Knocks it right out. So that's my skincare routine for the winter time because my skin is so dry, it's so sad. Dry skin, not pretty. It's just not pretty. Um, but this really has been helping me a lot. I do recommend trying some of these products out if you're suffering the same thing. Um, switch up your face wash switch up your moisturizer and you might actually see some results. I know I have. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. So thanks for watching. Hope you hope to see you again soon. Bye.